They say blood is thicker than water, but I'm anemic. So I find a relevance in my relatives not necessarily being blood kin, but this kindred spirit that I find in essence of every being I meet. It's amazing how we have the ability <laughs> just to be able to lock eyes with strangers and realize that we have relations, not those relations, but we can relate on things we've been through and things we've come to know that we'll have to go through just to get through this thing we call life. That strife and those tribulations are always purpose to give us purpose to let us know that this purpose-driven life is not in vain. And as you dig in your veins and you realize the complaints that you have made is nothing more than just this depiction of what you think is not good enough, not great, not perfect, not even what's worth it, but realize that when you don't think you're worth it, sometimes you feel like it's worthless, but just breathing in so deep, realizing that that gift was sufficient. Not worrying about the times that you couldn't breathe through your nose because maybe you were a little congested, but just the essence of your presence, making that feel festive of realizing that somebody to your left and your right actually appreciates that body heat at night because it gets cold sometimes. And I don't mean in the sense of temperature, I mean their bones begin to ache like arthritis. Sometimes you have to experience everybody's perspective to get your view a little more clear. They say perception is reality, but when your perspective is jaded, you can't see past the pole. Sometimes you gotta take a step back just to see what you don't know. And it's crazy. It's so crazy to me how we lack the ability just to just. <sighs> now, those of you with smartphones or you wanna go home or even to the library for those actually who do visit and look up the definition of kindred. We've shortened it to be kin and sometimes we relate that to be relatives. And it's crazy that blood makes you relative, but being blood doesn't make you relevant. It's ridiculous. Because there's so many differences between us that we think that you are no different from her, but sometimes you think your differences haven't occurred yet, so you can't find that common ground, that relationship. Ships can only sail on water when they're not anchored by your own disgrace or the things that you think make you not be able to just place yourself in a sense of being able to be related Huh. How do you relate to your daughter? Is it her attitude? Do you see you in her and that's why you think she's rude, but sometimes your reflection of your son, is he the one that's the problem or is it that you haven't accepted that you can't solve his? What about your kids? What about them? Is it that you have a problem letting go? Is it the control you never had to begin with? Is it funny or to anybody else that you tried to plan everything? I heard that joke when I was 10. You want to tell God a joke, you tell him your plans. Nothing goes according to your will. I swear if I had three minutes where the whole world would listen, I would teach them about my religion and how with it all things are possible. Then I'd snicker to myself at this clever use of a synonym to avoid a colossal insult. I've never found a difference in our walks. And I would tell them how I refused to support the opinions of minions who had conjured empires sustained by greed after failed attempts to unclench the fists of those dying to live life less selfishly. You walk past men and women under bridges who pray for you to give them change and you think it's what's in your pockets they're seeking, but sometimes it's your mind frame. They just want you to believe in something. Some of us don't believe in him, understand that we rely on tangible proof and the absence of sense leaves us here fooled by sense and sheer tools. I pity the fool who tries to make sense without belief and nouns unseen, never heard or proven to be present without tangible evidence. It's evident. I know you ain't got no sense in your pocket, but have enough sense to be able to realize when your senses are closed off, nothing else but you can be able to hear the presence, the noise, the breath, the feeling of somebody next to you, knowing that even though you had nobody touch you yesterday, even the bump of his shoulder, you get chills because you know that there's somebody else going through life just like you. This relationship, you can set sail and never worry about sinking. Ain't no Titanic when you blinking. Catch it. 